Hey everybody, it's Neo. Welcome to my room, wherever the heck I am. But today I have this. Let me check this out. It's the infrared thermometer, and it's one where you can like check the temperatures in the air vents and things like that. But so I was gonna check this one out. I figured I needed a new one. The old one I had, I ended up selling with my camper because I when I sold the camper, I used it for that. So I had to get another one. So this one here is by FKM, and this model is the FKM 7830D. And then there's some information from, I guess, Amazon and whatnot. That's where it's from. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description too, so you guys can pick one up. But let's check this out. So I'm opening it up, and this is, it comes in a cool little zipper case, which is nice, so if it falls, it won't break. So this is the device. It comes with some instructions here. Usually I can figure these things out, and it comes with a nine volt battery. So I guess we're gonna have to open up the battery. Hopefully macro. <clears throat> I sort of got it open, but it just doesn't want to open. It's plastic. Strong plastic. Okay. There we go. And then it looks like we're gonna zip this. There we go. So I just gotta pull the side open and then the battery plugs in. I mean if you have a smoke detector or whatever, you know how to plug these things in. Just snap it in place. And there we go. So let's see. Oh, you just, if I just push the button, it turns itself on. You see it's 78.4. I guess that's, I don't know if that's the temperature in here or what I was just pointing at. Let's see if we just do a shoot at the wall. It's 70 degrees on the wall, which in my apartment, it now says it's 70 degrees. So we are right on cue. So that's cool. So let me see if I shine it at the, let's see if I do it at my hand here, which is not super, um, not super cold or hot. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? 91. So it's, I'm not super hot yet, but um, but there we go. So it works pretty good. It's kind of cool. It just started off right in uh, Fahrenheit, so I didn't have to do any kind of settings. But you can see right here is the setting to change it. So like right now it says it's 91, and if I push there, it would be 35.8 in Celsius. And then the modes are, uh, I don't even know what these modes are. I would have to read it. <clears throat> Not even sure what these other buttons are for. I'll tell you what they are in a second. Let me look them up so you guys can just see what all the different features are. Okay, we have an LCD display, laser, laser hole, IR sensor, da -da -da, mode button, Fahrenheit button, laser up and down button is what number three is. So this one here is the laser up and down button. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Let me look. I'm gonna point it at something here. So that's the laser. Oh, it kind of like turns it off. So here you can see, like it's got, see now you don't see anything, but then if I push this button, when I do it, it, it points, it shows you where it is. Can you see that? It lights up. So I guess it just turns off the light and on the light so you can see where you're pointing at, which is really cool. And it's got a little light in the back. I'm not sure what that's for, but it lights up the whole little screen so you can do this at night. So that's what that one button was for. Um, and the different modes, I guess, probably look them all up online. Non-contact temperature measurement, it says. It has a uh, temperature sensing, laser setting, um, an emissive, em, emissivity setting. So that's what the mode does. So you can change the emissivity. And then it's got different alarms and stuff, you know, high rating, you know, alarm if you want to set it for things. So there you go. So pretty cool. I like it. Um, this is what it looks like here from the side. It's got a little caution thingy on it. Here's the information more about it. This one's actually really nice. I like the little case it comes with too, so very cool. Uh, thumbs up for me. Uh, links in the description. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back with some more reviews soon. Thanks, bye.